Hello you guys! Today I'm going to be doing a full face of 100% pure. This is a look I created. Let's just get right into it. So I am starting off with their mattifying primer. This has vitamins and antioxidants and it also has seaweed collagen. So I have really been enjoying this primer. It has a super smooth feeling. It feels like it has silicones, but of course it doesn't. It reminds me of the Milk Makeup Blur Stick if you've tried that, but as a liquid version. Next, I'm using the Second Skin Concealer in the shade 2. This is a very creamy concealer, and I like how lightweight it feels on the skin. And I also think that this is super cool because this concealer is colored from fruit. So this is said to be a buildable, medium to full coverage concealer, but I personally find that it's about a medium coverage. I'm just blending this in with the sponge, and it's going to look a little funny here. I'm not going to blend all of the spot concealing areas in because I'm just going to apply foundation on top of that and then blend it in with the foundation just to give it some more coverage. For foundation, I'm going in with the Fruit Pigmented Healthy Foundation, and I have this in the shade White Peach. This is said to be a full coverage foundation with a matte finish, and I have combination to oily skin, and I definitely find this to have a matte finish, and I personally think that this has a medium coverage. I'm also really impressed by how well this lasts throughout the day. I wore this for like 8 hours, and it was still looking pretty good, and just really kind of stayed on there really well. I'm just adding a little bit more coverage here. Now I'm going in with their Long Last Brows Pomade in the shade Taupe. Now I accidentally filmed this off camera, but that is the brow product that I'm using. Kind of has like a powdery finish type of pomade, if that makes sense. Now I'm going in with their Cocoa Pigmented Bronzer in the shade Cocoa Kiss. They have three shades. This is the middle shade. Do kind of have to be a little bit careful i kind of went in a little too heavy i think and it looked just ever so slightly patchy so i just want to make sure to do a little bit at a time and just kind of build it up slowly so i don't add too much pigment then i'm just going in with the same bronzer and using that for eyeshadow just applying that to the crease and just kind of all over the eyelids now I'm going in with the Fruit Pigmented Blush in the shade Mauvette, which is this really pretty plum mauve shade. It's made from finely pressed rice powder and antioxidant rich fruit pigments. Now I'm going in with the Gemmed Luminizer in the shade Moonstone Glow, which is described as an icy pink luminizer with white and lavender shimmer. I think that this is the prettiest shade for spring and summer. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. It gives a really pretty youthful and glowy look to the skin. Now I'm using the Bamboo Blur Powder. I have this in the translucent version, though they do have some tinted versions if you would rather do that. But it definitely has a very blurring effect. And I'm just applying this to all the areas where I get oily throughout the day. And now I'm using their Fruit Pigmented Ultra Lengthening Mascara. I have this in the shade Blackberry, which is kind of like a purple shade. I really enjoy this. I think it does a great job at lengthening and volumizing the eyelashes. Now I am using their Fruit Pigmented Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick in the shade Sahara, which is described as a neutral, deep nude shade. And I have really been enjoying this lipstick. It's a really pretty color. I like how creamy it is as well. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching.